tension between Russia and Ukraine continues to grow by the day, with the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, continuously making threats of how he and his forces will continue to infiltrate Ukrainian territory, especially if other countries aid Ukraine. However, Ukraine cannot handle the war alone and receives continuous help from the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and other allied nations. Recently, the President of the United States, Joe Biden, announced that the U.S. forces will provide Ukraine with several units of M142 HIMARS rocket launchers, a multiple launch rocket system, MLRS. Both Russia and Ukraine already wield MLRS units in the battlefield. So why is the U.S. sending more to Ukraine? In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the M142 HIMARS and how it trumps all the MLRS units currently used in the Russo-Ukrainian battlefield today. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video as I appreciate all of your support. The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS, is a light multiple rocket launcher that acts as a lighter version of the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System. It was first developed in 1996 by Lockheed Martin Missiles as an upgrade to the aforementioned M270 MLRS. It was made for airborne troops and marine units as the M270 MLRS was simply too heavy for air and marine vehicles to carry. The development of the M142 HIMARS was part of an Advanced Concept Technology Demonstration ACTD program, meaning it was meant to go beyond the standards of weaponry and artillery during that time hence why it is still an effective weapon more than 20 years later. The initial production of the M142 HIMARS began in early 2003. It then got to be evaluated via an initial operational test in November 2004. Within a couple of months, in May 2005, the M142 HIMARS saw its first official purchase, and since then, this artillery system has been acquired by many military forces, not just in the USA, but in other countries as well. In America, the M142 HIMARS is currently being used by the Army National Guard ARNG, and the United States Marine Corps. Outside America, Allied trade partners such as countries like Jordan, Romania, Singapore, and United Arab Emirates, and most recently, Ukraine, have the M142 HIMARS on active duty. The M142 HIMARS saw its first operational use in 2010, where it was part of Operation Mashtarek during the war in Afghanistan. Comparatively, the M142 HIMARS is still a pretty new rocket launcher and is still highly effective today, which is why many nations want to acquire units for their own military forces. This list now includes Poland, Australia, Taiwan, and Hungary. The M142 HIMARS is structurally similar to the MLRS M270, as both are part of the MLRS launcher family, with the M142 HIMARS being the newer addition. Like the MLRS M270, the M142 HIMARS supports a computerized, automated fire control system that allows for automatic firing and reloading of missiles. Other similarities the MLRS M270 and M142 HIMARS share are its electronics and communication units, with training and instruction the same for the two. This lowers the learning curve for new personnel to understand and use both the M142 HIMARS seamlessly. Likewise, the M142 HIMARS requires a crew of three members to fully operate the unit. One gunner, one driver, and one launcher chief. You might say everything so far seems similar to the MLRS M270, but the main difference is actually that the M142 HIMARS are lighter and have a superior and extended range. The M142 HIMARS is equipped on the Army's family of medium tactical vehicles, FMTV 5-ton truck. This FMTV truck runs on a Caterpillar 3115 ATAAC 6.6-liter diesel engine with an engine power of 290 horsepower. It can reach a maximum road speed of 89 kilometers per hour with a range of over 280 kilometers. Compared to the M270 Cummins VTA 903T diesel ran engine, which can only reach a top speed of 65 kilometers per hour, the M142 HIMARS equipped vehicle offers more mobility and maneuverability. This is due to the fact that the M142 HIMARS is significantly lighter than the M270. The M142 HIMARS only weighs 10.88 tons, less than half of the M270's 24.56 ton weight. Because of this weight increase, this artillery system can be transported via cargo aircrafts such as the C-130 Hercules, 
which can be extremely beneficial in quick response situations where technical positioning is an immediate concern. Despite being lighter than the M270, the M142 HIMARS is taller and longer than the M270. The M142 HIMARS clocks in at 7 meters long, 2.4 meters wide, and 3.2 meters high. You must be thinking, if the M270 MLRS and the M142 HIMARS are functionally the same, how come the M142 HIMARS is lighter by a significant amount? The answer is easy. It's armament. Unlike the M270, which can carry and fire 12 rounds of rockets due to their two six-rocket carrying pods, the M142 HIMARS only has one six-rocket carrying pod. This means that the M142 can only fire six rockets at a time, a trade-off for its increased mobility and decreased weight. Its armament or military weapons or equipment is a standard 227mm rocket checking at 3.96 meters long and 207 kilograms heavy and is the same as those found in the M270 MLRS. The missile is capable of large-scale damage, also being effective against heavy armored vehicles such as tanks. Its reload time is once again the same with the M270 MLRS if only one pod is reloaded. Reloading all six rockets of a single pod takes only around five minutes. Since the M270 contains two pods containing six rockets each, the reload time is estimated to be around 10 minutes, essentially double the time, so it all evens out. The only thing that the M142 HIMARS would not be able to do is to launch 12 missiles at once as the cap is six missiles. Additionally, this artillery system can also launch a single MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System in order to broaden its arsenal of munitions, which is especially important when the six other rockets are reloading. An upside to using the M142 HIMARS is its enhanced missile range. Unlike its two-potted counterpart, which can only reach a maximum distance of 70 kilometers, the extended range missiles of the M142 HIMARS can cover a whopping maximum distance of 100 kilometers. However, this amazing extended range feature will unfortunately not see action in Ukraine, as the units sent by the United States will have this feature removed, as requested by United States President Joe Biden. The United States are giving Ukraine much-needed equipment and backup, but they are hesitating in giving long-range missiles, as they are treading carefully on Putin's threats. A little touch-up before send-off. Wouldn't it be harmful for Ukraine to have the extended missile range feature removed? Why would the U.S. forces opt to do this? In terms of combat alone, yes, it is a puzzling move, as they're essentially culling one of the reasons why the M142 HIMARS is an effective artillery unit, with reports saying that the maximum range the rockets would reach would be 70 kilometers. However, the issue is much more than head-to-head -head combat alone. Biden claims that the extended range features are to be removed in order to avoid Ukraine targeting Russia's territory and instead only target advancing units toward Ukraine. In his terms, Biden states, we are not going to send to Ukraine rocket systems that can strike into Russia. This is to be done in order to not further provoke Russian forces and their president, Vladimir Putin, as he has already claimed to attack more territories of Ukraine as a response to all the help Ukraine is getting. While this does somewhat limit the M142 HIMARS use, it also limits further tension from growing, as one stray missile may reach Russian territory and only cause the war to intensify. Locking out the extended range feature is a safety call to ensure that the M142 HIMARS is used as a defensive mechanism only. The M142 HIMARS in the Russo-Ukrainian War On May 31, 2022, the White House reported that the U.S. would supply Ukraine with M142 HIMARS units. While no official report stating the number of units sent to Ukraine for actual on-the-ground battle, it has been confirmed that four units of the artillery system have been sent to Ukraine for training procedures. The United States, under the Secretary of Defense for Policy, Colin Call, claims that more units can be sent by the U.S. if the combat between the two countries continues to escalate. The M142 HIMARS will function similarly to the M270 MLRS in combat and that it will cause large-scale damage over a target area, effectively clearing out a zone of incoming Russian forces. Before the transfer of both M270 MLRS and M142 HIMARS units, the Ukrainian ground units were not something to write home about. However, since these units are only starting to be introduced in the battlefield on Ukraine's side, 
It is expected that both their offense and defense are on the rise and can possibly be on par with that of Russia. The M270 units were delivered only a few days earlier than the M142 HIMARS, and the set of these two missile and rocket launching systems will mark Ukraine's first acquisition of such weapons. This will significantly boost the combat prowess of Ukraine's military forces. The NATO and the countries part of it, such as the United States and the United Kingdom, are continuously sending aid to Ukraine via the provisions of weapons in hopes to increase Ukraine's firepower. With the mighty M142 HIMARS on Ukraine's side soon, do you think Ukraine is now on par with Russia's artillery? Or do you think NATO and other allied nations of Ukraine should supply Ukraine with more varieties of weapons in order to cover all bases? Let me know your thoughts on these questions in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Until next time.